Good morning, everybody. Wow, that's so cute. Just a little bunny update. So I think I've got bad news. Uh, two days ago, I went in to feed the rabbits and every morning I give them a little handful of hay just for fiber and it's good for them. And Molly, who was bred after Margot, started with the hay mustache, which is when they start nest building and they clump all the hay in their mouth and they start to build a nest. And so I went back inside because I had done the math and it wasn't time to put in her nesting box. So I was super confused. So I was like, man, did I do the math wrong? So anyways, I came out and I filled a nesting box. I was so, I was so confused and I put it in with her. And when I came home that night, she had pulled fur. And I was like, what is happening here? Cause it's, a, it's like a week early. Um, and so through some research, I found that there's something called um, a phantom pregnancy, which is where um, all of the rabbit's hormones do the right things, except that they're not pregnant. And my suspicion is, that's awesome, pileated woodpecker. My suspicion is that um, she's too overweight. I was going to say fat, Ugh. but it, it that can happen. So if your rabbit has too much fat buildup around their organs, um, they will, um, it's unlikely that they will uh, get pregnant or carry um, kits. And so I think that's what happened. And the same might be with Margot, except today, because I bred Margot first, today is the day where I have to put in the nesting box for Margot. So I'm just going to get that now and I'm going to get it ready. But there's a good chance that she's not pregnant either um, because I think I just love them with food. So these standard wrecks are smaller rabbits, I think, than the um, New Zealands that I had before. Well, they are smaller. And so I didn't really adjust the, their food um, and they are little piggies. So my suspicion is that we might not have any kits this time around and they're going to have to go on a reduced food um, diet for a little while. Yeah. Anyways, it's too bad, but I'm going to check. I'm just going to keep checking cause I, I've never had an experience like this, but I just want to be sure. So good morning, honey bunny. I'm just going to check in her box. And so I, f I feel like what's been happening is she's just been eating all the hay and there's no, she's not going to have kits. There's no bunnies in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it now because the lighting's really poor, but there's a whole bunch of fur. I'm just going to tuck that in the box because I am going to keep that fur. Good morning, girly. Yeah, I don't think you've got babies on board. How about you, Margo? Yeah, you're going to get your nesting box today. For the nesting box, what I do is I fill the bottom with... Uh, wood chips. So I'm going to do that first uh, and then I put hay in there. So I'll do this out in the light. The wood chips are for absorption. So I use wooden nesting boxes um, and then I, I just disinfect them really well with vinegar and then I let them dry in the sun. And then what happens is I put, or then what I do is I put down just a thin layer of wood chips and that just helps to absorb the kit's urine. Um, and any mess and and it gets I get it gets changed out regularly after um, the rabbits kindle and then I'm going to fill the entire nesting box with hay so I'll just take this hay and I just kind of loose loosen it up fill the box and then mama will <coughs> kind of adjust it to how she wants it, if she's gonna have kits. Okay, so that's what it looks like. You just kind of stuff it all in there. That might be too much, but she'll she'll make it so. If if she's ready, she's gonna have kits. So I always put the nesting box. So um, Margot peas over there that's kind of where her like litter box is so I'm going to put the nesting box on that side of the um of that side of her cage so it's not looking promising 
on the bunny front, which is unfortunate, but good lesson learned. So if I have to get them to drop some weight, that's gonna take a while. Uh, and so I'll have to look at the timing because I really, I've had, we've had bunnies through the hottest part of the summer, but I'd really like them to, you know, not be having to worry about the heat. We'll see. Um, we usually have them out on tractors in the summertime, which is, which is nice because the ground is usually a lot cooler, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'll keep you posted in the next couple days. Anyways, stay tuned. Hey everybody, just got home from work and, <coughs> excuse me, pretty sure Molly had a phantom pregnancy and Margot was due tomorrow, but I just got home and I was like, oh, I'm just going to go check on her because sometimes I go early just depending and she had babies. So at least we have one. Tilly, come here. Tilly, Tilly. We have one litter so I'm just going in to count the kits now this process you should do quickly but efficiently uh, I just wash my hands just in case I have any dog smell um, rabbits don't reject their kits if they smell humans on them but I will pet Margot and then I'll touch the bedding with my hands just to get the smell on me and then all I'm going to do is count the number of kits if there are any that are dead I'm going to remove them I don't know yet I just saw that she's pulled for and I put my hand in and I felt warm so I know that there's kits in there uh, and then I'm going to put them all back and leave her and you do that every day so you have to count the kits um, remove any that are dead and that happens like things happen um, so anyways oh, I'm out of breath this is very exciting it's kind of dark in here. Um, hi, Mama. Hi. Yeah. Just got a lot of fur on the ground here, so I can see she pulled a bunch. I might just try and grab some. Hi, girly. All right. You're all right, Margo. And she's kind of skittish, so I don't think she'll like this, but I'm just going to pull... doesn't look like a really big litter. Okay. Gotta do this quickly. Oh, a little gray. There's a little gray one. One. Oh, hello, everybody. Oh. Two. Three. Holy smokes. Four. It's okay. Holy. Five. Oh my gosh. Six. Holy smokes. Seven. Eight. Nine. Okay. I think that's it. I think we got nine. Here they are. <laughs> Good girl, Margo. Okay, sweetie. There you guys go. We got some spotted ones. Good girl, sweetheart. Yeah. There you guys go. Good girl, Margo. Oh. Good girl. Good girl. All right, we'll pack all that fur back on top. Check the corners. Okay. We're probably hungry, Mama. Okay. Oh, come on, Margo. What you get? All right, so hopefully everybody's good in there. I'm so excited. Did I count nine or 10? Well, we'll know tomorrow. And this lady, we think that Molly had a phantom pregnancy, but we'll, we'll see tomorrow with you. I'm just gonna check in here because she's not due 
she's not due until Sunday or Monday, but she's already pulled for like last week. So I'm pretty sure it's a phantom pregnancy, but we don't know for sure. So we're gonna leave this mama, maybe give her some, just some hay to munch on for fiber. This is when I really have to rely on my book um, because you can't overfeed the mamas at this point. You have to just, I just want to check because I can hear them kind of squeaking and squirming. That's really exciting. Hopefully they all do well. That's a lot of kids. I'm pretty sure I counted nine. <laughs> Woo! Baby's on board. Yeah, that's really exciting. It's a relief when everything goes well and they kindle in the box and all that good stuff so now we just have to hope that she takes care of them but they were snuggled in there nicely so yeah pretty exciting hey everybody it is day two uh and i'm coming out here to check on margo's babies it's super windy i'll duck in here it's just darker um so we have to do this every day Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think Molly had babies. No, but she's pulling. What is going on? You're you might have about to be had about to have babies. Okay, this is really weird. Okay, I'm le I'm gonna go out right now. Let me just check. Let me just put a warm hand on these and see if they're still all right. Yeah, I can still feel heat. Okay, so just so you guys can see, that's all Molly right now. So she's pulling. So she she might be having babies here shortly. I'm just gonna toss in some. Hay. She's pulling, but she's not nest building with it. So I'm gonna give her some hay. You all right there, honey? I don't think you have anything in there. Okay, get get to work. So this, all of that down there, this is all Molly. And actually, I'm just gonna take a minute here. I don't want to disturb her too much. But I'm actually, I'm going to try and collect some of this so she doesn't pee on me because it's good to keep fur till he out. Just in case you ever need it. I'm going to put this in her nesting box. Oh my gosh. You're a weird one lady, but you are due today or tomorrow. I have you on's calendar for tomorrow, so I don't know. It would be amazing if she had kits. You want a little snack? This is just the weirdest thing. Sorry, sorry. Hey, are you feeding your kids? It's okay. I'm just checking. Okay, out. Okay. Wow. So strange. I guess I'm going to still have hope that she might still have kits. Wow. That's crazy. You want to go get your frisk? You ready? No, you're not. Okay, well, we'll come back and check later. Usually, in my experience, uh, soon after they pull further, they give birth. Um, and this is right around the time that uh, Margot gave birth yesterday, so we'll see. Hey everybody, so it has been an exciting couple of days. The other day, um, I came home to check Margot's babies because she had her nine babies. And when I went in to check on her babies, Molly had pulled so much fur. So I was like, maybe she is pregnant. And I had to go, where did I go? I had to go do something. And when I came home, she had seven kits. Um, so that was really exciting. So I'm actually going in to check on 
both of them to see how they made out today. Um, so first thing I always do, looks like you're pulling more fur. What is going on here? So weird. Hi, honey. The first thing I do is give them a good pet and then out. Get the dogs out. So I give them a good pet and then I give them a little snack. So I'll give them some hay and that gets them kind of distracted while I check the kids. Hey, you are, you're pulling fur. What the heck? Here you go. Girlies. So I've, I've given her a pet and now I got to check. So I feel lots of warm and I feel the corners first. I'm, so basically at this point, I'm just checking to make sure everybody's alive and doing well. So here is one of the little kits, little polka dot, good girl. I think they're, basically I'm just feeling for anybody that's not moving around. They're like little jumping jelly beans. And my plan actually, here's a little gray, with a little spot on its head. My plan is to actually, because Margot had nine and Molly had um, seven, I'm actually going to foster one of Margot's to Molly's probably. But um, their, their little tummies are pretty full. They're probably, they're probably gonna eat tonight um, in a little bit. So I'm kind of checking size too for all of them. Yeah, you guys are doing well. It's okay, Mama. I just have to make sure everybody's moving. So I take them all out. And last night it was minus like one or two. It was cold last night. Three, two, three, oh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're tiny. Okay, there we go. So whenever I check, I then cover them back up with the, the fur. So you can see mama's done a good job pulling fur, building a really nice nest. And then they'll stay, they stay nice and warm. Their body heat kind of is dispersed in that area and they stay nice and warm. So mama will only pop in there when she's going to feed them, which is usually twice a day, morning and night. It's pretty quick. Um, but now we, I have to start watching for her pulling the babies out onto the wire when she hops out. If they're still on her teat and she goes to pop out of here, sometimes the baby will come with her um, and then be trapped out on the wire. So, sorry, Margo. Come here, honey. Come on. Come here. Come on out here. Come on out here. It's okay. It's okay. I gotta pull. I gotta put the box back. Watch out, girl. Good girl. Good girl. You're all right. Okay. How are you doing there, Mama? Munching away. Can you move over here? Here. Here. Over here. Come on. Come on, sweetie. There we go. Let me check your little kitties. So I'm going to do the same thing. Give her a pet just so that her smell is on my hand. I check for heat. Back corners, front corners, and then I count. One. Two, that looks like a black. Three, ooh, that one looks like a white. Four, looks like we got some whites. Five, six, seven, okay. Lots of whites in this one. Oh, look at Oh goodness me, they're so cute. Good morning everyone. I'm sorry, yesterday when I was filming, my battery ran out, but I was just finished. I had just finished counting uh, the kits, uh, Molly's kits, and they were all good. Um, so it was really cold again last night, minus one. 
And so I'm just going to check on them this morning. Um, the nice thing is it's been getting pretty warm in the day, so they're fine in the day. It's just these cold overnights that we are just having to be uh, aware of. So let's go in and have a peek this morning at all my little fluffy friends. Good morning, girlies. Oh my gosh, she's still pulling fur. This is the strangest. They both, so I can see here. Okay, relax, I'm gonna feed you. Stop the insanity, you guys are seeing, eh? There you go. There you go. Feels like everybody's snug as a bug. So that's great news. Uh, let these guys out. Good morning. Good morning, check out. How's everybody? Oops, sorry. I'm in your way. I got the tripod in the chicken way. Good morning, ladies. It's always nerve wracking in the morning checking. You fear the worst. Um, but it's supposed to rain for the whole weekend, and this rabbit tractor has got some nice grass in it. Um, so I'm going to actually just put Simon out here at least for probably just like until it starts to really rain because it's good for him to be able to get outside at least. Um, I'm just going to put the food so it doesn't get wet in his cage. Put his water in. Fun, eh? All that nice green grass and, and dandelions. Kibs. Yeah. Let you be a rabbit, eh? Stretch your legs. I love I love having them out. He goes right to the grass. So cool. <laughs> yeah. You're a dad, 16 babies, nicely done. Well, I'm gonna sign off this video. It was uh, touch and go for me, lots of learning. Had never heard about a phantom pregnancy before, didn't know much about it. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm really excited. It feels so good to have baby bunnies again and just to kind of be doing the thing, um, you know, garden, we're thinking a lot about gardening and have a ton of projects we wanna get done this summer. So there's that like constant feeling of spring overwhelm, but you know, it's still exciting. It's nice to have these beautiful mornings and know that, you know, summer is ahead with lots of possibility. So anyways, I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.